Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create extensions in our systems and what is an extension. Before YouTube, I used to write blogs regarding out systems and other technologies as well. So before out systems, I was a PHP developer. So that blogs also will be here. So I will share this link with this video description so that you can also go through it as uh, how to create an extension in out systems using integration studio. We all know that we have two integrated development environment in out systems <clears throat> which is one is service studio and another one is integration studio so mostly we work on service studio to develop applications in out systems and what is integration studio integration studio as the medium to create dotnet extensions we can extend the feature of out systems capabilities with dotnet code so that dotnet code can help our out systems application logic to enhance our uh, application to the next level using that right what scenario we need to go for extensions any feature that is not supported in out systems or it which is not available in out systems but that can be built with dotnet code in that case you can write your logics in dotnet use that code as an extension in out systems service studio how can we do this with the integration studios help right that is what we are going to see so i just listed the things to do i'll tell you the requirements for this extension development first download the visual studio okay so by default dotnet downloaded when installing the visual studio now once it is downloaded you have to install this dotnet framework and then install the visual studio that's it so once all this installation is done with the visual studio now we have to open integration studio you search for integration studio it will open here first so so in order to work with integration studio you have to log in with your environment first whatever credentials you give in service studio the same credentials you can give so this is my personal environment and my username password will be and let me connect it it is connected now right now what we need to do give extension name and description accordingly now. okay now we, we will we are going to build an extension that will find string length okay so i'm going to name the extension as string length and uh, this is my extension name and if you want to add description here you can add description also in this dbms you can we are not going to deal with the dbms anything right you can make it all and inside this actions you can add actions and the action name would be get string length so this action sh should get the input as a string and return the length of that string it's a simple uh, demonstration you can build your own with any logics So this extensions or the integration studio mainly useful to deal with the external entities. So in some of the projects, client will give the entities to deal with it, right? Instead of creating entities in out systems. So in that case, we have to connect the database in service center and then it will be um, here the entities, external entities also we need to give connection. So that external entity connection, I will tell you in a separate video, the action is created we have to create 
input parameter right so this input parameter so we can define is function yes or no i will in my case i'll make it as no parameter will be text i'll make it input text and if you double if you double click it it will be changed as output parameter output length so input text is text here you can change the data types and uh, you can mention it is it mandatory or not and yes the input is mandatory and uh, this output length will be integer that's it so once you have created this you need to set it set up a uh, visual studio that you have installed on first step right when you click edit source code it will ask you to configure the ide so currently it will not ask me because i already configured right so i will show you in my blog when you click on this click this to configure visual studio ide as the dotnet editor okay and then when when you clicked it will show this pop up that verifying extension validating source code open successfully opened in integrated development environment okay so okay the first time that is not it captured here also so what will happen when you click on the first time this uh, this thing right edit source code so it will create this server action it will create i mean convert this server action into a dotnet code and that visual studio you have to link it once you link it link linking means it will ask the path for that visual studio code installed you have to give where that visual studio id is presented in your installation then that path you have to give and the dotnet path also you have to give once that is done then it will be like this this pop up will open and uh, it will open this action get string length in dotnet editor the dotnet editor is the visual studio right dotnet code editor is different this integration studio is different integration studio is the connector to the visual studio in order to make changes in that server action let it open in the background i will explain you this uh, one more time what we have done we logged in with our personal environment and uh, here we added a string length this new extension and here also you can uh, create a new extension by, by clicking this right and then i have done this details name and description once that is done i created one action by right clicking it and that action will be get string length basically this action is the function if we go with the codings right low code to code that is that we call it as a function get string length will be converted as a function with the input text input parameter and output length output parameter these two items will be there so i this is still opening i will quickly okay this is opened now you see string length is our extension name this is the project in dotnet now if you open it you will have multiple files here right here you need to open string length.cs string length.cs if you click on it it will open it yeah that's it now we need to verify so namespace is string length this is our extension name which is fine inside this 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 is a class names that it is created automatically and see the action that we have created get string length this mss is the prefix for this uh, actions right and the namespaces for for namespaces uh, it is added nss for actions or functions it is added mss as prefix and for classes it added css as prefix so this is how uh, the, a prefix will happen before your names right this action is created and you see data type string input for input and output ss will be prefixed our input text is the name and ss is prefixed input and out the type is integer name is output length that's it now we need to calculate the length of this text and add it into this output parameter currently this output parameter is assigned to zero so if we call this function it will return zero now right we need to define our logic here ss input ss input dot length that's it 
So this output parameter is assigned with the logic defined. Yeah. Now like you have to save this. It is saved now. You can minimize it. Go to integration studio. Now that uh, changes are saved, what you have to do? You need to update the source code, right? First update the source code from the .NET code that we have written from Visual Studio to Integration Studio, update the source code first. So that is what the first step, it is verifying, updating source code, update source code done. Extension source code was successfully updated into the Integration Studio. Now close it. Now what you need to do, you have to do one click, one click publish. See, one click publish will combine these two things. Okay, this is verify and verify and save this is published see it is verifying verify is done and now compiling compiler output okay saving extension to disk please close the integrated development before proceeding okay uh, what it is saying we have done these changes right in order to publish this changes into um, service studio right we have to close this don't confuse with the integration studio and service studios. Um, what we have done is this one is the integration studio publish, which, uh, which means saving Visual Studio code to the integration studio. It is updated now. Now you have to close that Visual Studio and click on this publish. This publish what it will do? It will publish this extension, string length extension to the service studio. Then only that it is available. It will be available to use in our development, right? So I will close that Visual Studio. Now click on OK and it will continue. See where it needs to be done. I will do this in downloads. So it is saving to local disk. Once that is saved to local disk, then that locally saved extension is uploaded to the Service Studio and it is published. Now extension is published to this environment. That's it. Now we need to check with the Service Studio whether the extension is extension has came or not before that i will add a container an input parameter submit button I'll click length extension I have added expression also. So here we need to use that uh, extension. We need to. That extension is published. I mean, I, I think it should be available when we search here. Um, string length. See, this is our extension, right? See the brackets. String length. And this is our server action input string output length. I take. I'm taking the references here. Now we can directly call that extension code where it is get string length. Yeah, it is here. See XIF, which means it's an extension. And this this one I'm going to use it here. Input text I'll be assigning to that uh, local variable, and uh, output will be for this length. I'll assign this to get string output dot length. That's it. Now let's test this. Now you see length of length uh, length of the string is zero. I will enter this calculate length from extension. See, it is twenty four totally. Let's give seven. So finally, we have done with uh, how to create an extension, how to use Integration Studio to create extension, and how can we link that with uh, Visual Studio. 
and how to write logic in visual studio and uh, after the logic what needs to be done so all those details have clearly explained i hope you guys will get some idea uh, regarding this extension creation and we can also use visual studio code for the ide but visual studio code is officially not supported by out systems in order to uh, edit extensions and publish in uh, integration studio you can only view the code using visual studio code but you cannot make changes and publish it to the uh, integration studio or service studio right in order to make the changes and apply logics and publish it you you have to change your ide to visual studio only only visual studio is supported by out systems in order to make changes in dotnet and that should be linked with the integration studio once you have published with the uh, integration studio that will be available in service studio yeah in independent modules that extension will be um, added once you publish using integration studio that extension will be added in independent modules and you can move this from here to or any applications that you want right that's it we covered mostly regarding this uh, extension creation and i hope it is helpful thank you